At the ESMO 2022, we presented the NICHE 2 data. NICHE 2 is a study in which we treat patients with MMR-deficient colon cancer in the neoadjuvant setting with one single cycle of ipilimumab low dose, one milligram per kilogram, and two cycles of nivolumab, three milligrams per kilogram. Patients are operated within six weeks of study registration, and the primary objectives of the study are disease-free survival, three-year disease-free survival, and also um, safety and feasibility. Secondary objectives include pathologic responses. At this ESMO, we presented the pathologic responses, one of the secondary objectives, and the co-primary endpoint of safety and feasibility. In the 112 treated patients, all patients underwent their surgery, and all patients achieved tumor-free resection margins. Patients underwent their surgery in time in 98% of cases, reaching one of the primary endpoints of the study. In terms of pathologic responses, we observed in 107 patients in the efficacy analysis, 95% major pathologic responses, which is defined as 10% or less viable tumor rest. We also observed 67% pathologic complete responses, and this is complete responses in both the primary tumor bed, but also in the lymph nodes. We also assessed pathologic complete responses between Lynch and non-Lynch associated tumors because we believe that there's a biological difference, there may be a biological difference between Lynch and non-Lynch associated tumors. And we found a numerically higher pathologic complete response rate in those patients where Lynch status was available. So in patients with DMMR colon cancers, which account for approximately 10 to 15% of all patients with non-metastatic rectal cancers, we observed with neoadjuvant immunotherapy and only four weeks of treatment, that in 95% of patients we achieve major pathologic responses and 67% pathologic complete responses. And especially when we compare that to neoadjuvant chemotherapy in the same patient population with only 7% pathologic responses, that is a big difference. Based on that, I believe that there may be a future for neoadjuvant immunotherapy in this patient population to become standard of care, of course contingent on the disease-free survival data that we expect to have ready by next year.